Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to access the photo library. Now photos in your library can be from your camera or from other sources that you might have uploaded or that you might have gotten off of web pages or saved from text messages. So all of these images are stored in the photo library. In our app we're going to have a button that will let us tap and it's going to open up the photo library and this is just for the simulator so if you were doing this on a real device you would see the images that would be stored on that particular device. So I'm going to go to save photos and I'm going to pick an image and it will load back into my application. So this demonstrates how we can access the photo library from within our application grab a copy of an image and pull it into our application. So if I go back I can choose a different image from the library to put into our application. So in order to do this I'm going to create a new project in Xcode and this is going to be a single view application. I'm just going to call this photos and save it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set up my user interface and this is just going to consist of a button and then we'll say load from photo library and then at the bottom here we're going to have a UI image view that will store the image in that we selected. So I'm going to grab an image view and drag it onto the screen and I'm just going to resize it out. And I also want it to be in proportion. So with this selected, I'm going to change the scale to fill to aspect fit. Okay, next I'm going to close the utility panel and go into the assistant editor and I'm going to set up my outlets and actions. So first I have a UI image view, which is an outlet. So I'm going to right click and drag and make sure outlet is set and I'm just going to call this image view and my button is going to cause an action and so I'm just going to right click and drag here and connect it to an action and my action is just going to be a simple BTN clicked so button clicked and uh, I'm going to go out of the assistant editor into the standard editor mode and go into the view controller header file. Still need to set up a couple of things in here. We have two delegates that are going to work to help us access the photo library and then switch back to our application. One is the UI navigation controller. That's the part that helps us go out to the photo library and then come back. And the other one is the UI image picker controller delegate. And if I open back up my utility panel, we can see in the quick help for the image picker controller delegate that this has different methods that we can use to interact with the image picker interface. And so this will automatically be notifying the delegate when the user picks an image or cancels out of it. So this is going to handle uh, the actual picking of images from the photo library. And before we're finished in this header file, we need to allocate our image picker. So I'm going to come in to our, right after the interface in here, and I'm going to put in some curly braces, and we're going to set up a UI image picker controller. And I'm going to set that equal to image picker. And now from here we can move into the implementation file and I'm going to start in the view did load method. And here we're going to set up the image picker and that is going to be equal to a UI image picker controller that we initialized in our header file. And we're going to allocate it and initialize it into memory. Okay, next we're going to set up our button clicked method. So when we created that by dragging from our button to the header file, it gave us our skeleton for the method. And I'm just going to move this up to the top so it's a little easier to see in the video. 
So first we're going to define our image picker's delegate who's going to handle this image picker controller. So we're going to say image picker delegate is equal to self because we instituted the delegate in our header files. Now we're going to specify a source type for our image picker. So the source type is equal to UI image picker controller source type and we're going to choose photo library. That's where we want to go to get our images. Okay, next we want to show the image picker. So we'll say self present modal view controller image picker. All right, the image picker was set to be equal to a UI image picker controller and that is being set to the photo library. And we'll say animated yes. Okay, so now we have we have this hooked up. Let's test it and see if it's working. So if I hit load from photo library, it does bring up the library. And if we go in and we select something, it doesn't bring it back in here. So we still have to hook that part up yet. But at least the button is working, right? We have the button clicked and it is setting the source type to the photo library and it is opening the image picker from the library. And now we need to have a method that will handle, okay, what happens when we are finished picking with it? We want it to take that image and put it back in our application. So to do that, we're going to create a method, right? Since we're, we invoke the image picker controller method, when a picture or video has been selected, it automatically fires off the image picker controller did finish picking media with info event. So that's a long one. So let's set that up. Hopefully this will start to fill it in for us as we go. So yes, we have image picker controller. So let's do the did finish picking media with info. And in this method, what we'll do is we'll get a, we'll set a UI image equal to image and an NS URL and we'll just call this media URL and we'll set the media URL to NS URL info value for key UI image picker controller original image and then we'll take that image and put it in our image view and then we'll dismiss the picker And next, we need to add the image picker controller did cancel method. So just like we have the image picker controller did finish picking with media info method, we have a lot of things that Apple gives us automatically, which is nice. So this is the image picker controller did cancel. So what we want it to do when it's been canceled, we want the picker to be dismissed and we'll say animated yes. So let's test this in the simulator and see if it will take one of our images. Now it doesn't bring it back in here, so I missed something. Let me just double check my code. Uh, did value for key image picker controller original image. This should be media URL. And also, it defined an image, but I didn't specify or get the information of, of what it's equal to. So I missed a line in here. So in the same fashion that we're getting the media URL, we're getting an image, the info value for key. So from what was picked from the picker is being assigned to image, and then we'll put image into our image view. Now let's see what happens when we run this. Okay, load from photo library. Okay, now it's working. Also, too, I uh, didn't mention before, if you don't have any images in your photo library to be able to test this, uh, one way to do that is to go into Safari, and I just went into Bing and got a bunch of images. So I did a search for Amelia Earhart's plane, went to images, came up with a bunch of images here, and to save it into your photo library, you click and hold the mouse down on the image. On your phone device, you would hold it, press and hold, and then you can choose Save Image. 
So now if I go back into my photo library, come back in here, now I have seven photos. You can see this last one added, and that's the one I just saved. So let's take a closer look at the code in this image picker controller did finish picking media with info method. Okay, so what happens now? The user taps the button and that brings up the image picker. The image picker takes us to the photo library. The user goes in, picks an image, and once they pick an image, then that fires off the did finish picking media with info method. So once we're in here, we create a couple of variables, one for image and one for media URL. Now the media URL is getting a value of where the image is in the file system. So even though it's a URL, it's not a URL in the traditional sense of it's going out onto the web. It's looking for the location of where this image is on the file system. So that's being assigned to media URL. And then we have image, we're getting value for key, right? Info, value for key is in both of these. The did finish picking media with info method is a type of dictionary which has keys and values. And part of that information is the info. So this info actually contains the type of media and it's encapsulated in that info parameter. So it could be photo, it could be a video, and it also has the media type, whether it's edited or original. So we're going to be accessing the original image, so we want to work with this info information. So our value for key, right, keys and values in our dictionary, we have a UI image picker controller original image. So we want to get the original image for the image that was selected at this media URL. And then we assign that image to our image view. So the image view that's in our interface gets assigned to the image that was picked by the user. And once that happens, then we dismiss the view controller. So we don't need that photo picker anymore so it's dismissed. We also implemented an image picker controller did cancel so that if the user cancels without picking anything it's going to dismiss the view controller. So in here when we go to load from and they come in here and we cancel it takes us back to our application. So that's this method in action. So that is a basic way to connect to the photo library, to grab an image from the photo library and pull it back into your app.